make sure I got everything. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. And it is a happy, happy, happy Monday. This is the Monday after Father's Day. I want to wish all of the fathers um, a belated happy Father's Day. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful holiday on yesterday. I hope the people that you have poured into over the years, I hope they poured into you on yesterday. My husband really enjoyed his whole weekend, and that was the goal for us. Um, so I just wanted to tell all of the fathers, happy Father's Day. Thank you to all of the ladies or kids or whoever that came to the store and y'all purchased pocket pussies as gag gifts and y'all came and got baskets for dads. Thank you all for choosing the PPG store to gift the person that you love for Father's Day. I appreciate that. Um, but we're going to get into this live. Today's topic is Hot Girl Summer. So before we get started, we do have a new game that has come out called Come Face. And the way Come Face works is, and I have the video on my, um, I have it on my Instagram. I didn't put it on Facebook because Facebook's so iffy or whatever. But um, if you get emails from me, you will get an email blast with the video. So basically, with this Come Face game, this is great for birthday, bachelorette parties, where it's a group of people together. And I'm not going to even say just ladies. But if it's a group of people, open-minded, fun people together, the way this goes is, this this going to be my dick right here. This dick over here is for my uh, opponent, right? So what happens is when I'm beating mine, right, my nozzle to squirt out is actually connected to this one. And their nozzle to squirt out is actually connected to mine. So that means that I'm jacking mine and I'm beating mine to try to get it to come in her face or his face first. That's the object of the game. In other words, they're going to be beating theirs and they're going to beat theirs until theirs come in my face. The object of the game is the first person that can get it to going and you you beating that dick and, and you making it come. The first person to get their dick to come in the other person's face is the winner. And if you want to add a drinking game to this, what you can do is the loser has to take a shot. And that's the way that could go. And y'all can play this game amongst each other all night long and have fun with it. So this is a new game. It is in store. It is on the website as well. And it's called Come Face. So I want to make sure I got it to where there's no glare on it. That way my people on YouTube can see. Okay. So, a real fun game, and they recommend that you use water. That's what they recommend, okay? <clears throat> Another um, game for a turn-up, bachelorette, birthday, or whatever. And I'm saying this because we got, like, a lot of girls' trips and a lot of vacationing going on right now. And people like to get together, especially at hotel rooms, and they like to play games and have a great time amongst each other. Who's the biggest slut? This was uh, one of my all-time favorite games. And it asks you all types of stuff that you have done in your past. And basically, out of the group, we're going to see who done, done the most. Now, of course, you want to play these type of games with people who are fun and people who are, like I said, open-minded. Because sometimes people play the games just so they can carry your business, Okay. So if you know you got people like that in the group, then you know you want to be cautious about these type of games because they do talk about your sex life heavily in these type of games, okay? So who's the biggest slut? Both of these are on the website, all right? So we're going to set this to the side. So about a week ago, I sent out an email blast, um, and it was entitled Hot Summer or Safe Hot Girl Summer. I'm not sure. How my, um, how my lady have it set up because I have somebody that handles that for me that sends out all of my emails. And um, I actually got so much feedback about this particular blog. And one of my ladies actually contacted me via email and said, Sharonda, everybody don't read. But this email is so informative. I'm going to highly suggest that you actually do a live video 
about this email that I received. She said, because it seems like common sense, but I just really feel like everybody don't read, everybody don't check emails, but a lot of people like visual content. A lot of people get on YouTube. A lot of people are on Instagram, on your Facebook, and people really need to see this. They need to hear this. This is vital for our safety. So I said, okay, cool. So this live is entitled Hot Girl Summer, but we want to have a safe hot girl summer. See, I don't never have no issue with you having a hot girl summer, okay? Have your hot girl summer. Have a great time. A lot of us, we work all year long. We bust our ass. We take care of kids. We go into school. We working. We taking care of parents. We doing so much stuff. We are making ourselves available to so many people. So sometimes we just need that opportunity for us to unwind, okay? So this video is entitled Safe Hot Girl Summer, okay? So these are some of the rules. And if you want to jot them down, or if you want to go back and replay this video, or if you want to check your email, the rules have been sent to you. Rule number one. Always use protection during sex. Let me tell you something. We are in the hookup culture. People could get on apps. Um, they can, they get in the new cities. They going to swingers parties. They doing this, that, the other. So these are these things are not anything unheard of to us. We know that it's going down when people go on vacation. People go on girls' trips. They got men going on. Got people hook up on trips. People literally go to different cities and get on these apps and hook up on purpose. That's your business, but make sure you use protection. That is the very first rule because we do not want you coming back home with anything that you did not go there with, whether it be babies, STDs, or whatever. I always use protection. Next, stay prepared, meaning you go on a trip with your own protection. You don't rely on these other people, these strangers, or anybody to provide protection for you. You go and you are prepared and you make sure you have your condoms and you make sure you have your lubricant. I'm saying lubricant because condoms break. A lot of times they break from friction. Lubricant helps keep the condom from breaking. <coughs> Rule number three, never go out alone. I do not care if you need to go walk down to the lobby I don't care what it is that you need to do. If you go into a local, because a lot of hotels have like eatery places, they have convenience stores and all of this kind of stuff, and you may need something. You don't ever go by yourself. You always bring somebody from the group with you, and if don't nobody want to go with you, then you don't go. Never go out by yourself, okay? Make sure you pass this information along to your uh, kids, especially the ones that's in college too. Never go out alone. Let's see. All right. Rule number four. Always let people know where you're going. Especially family. So, for example, and this is just for safety. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. I'm going to Miami for the weekend. I'm going to be with Keisha, Samantha, Tammy. We'll be, we expect to be back on this day. I tell my daughter this all the time. This ain't got nothing to do with you being grown and you don't want people in your business. This ain't got nothing to do with that. This has everything to do with, if anything happens to you, people need to know where the last place you went. If anything goes on, they need to be able to say that I talked to her on such and such a day. And this is where she went and this is who she went with. You're never too grown to let people know where you're going. You're never too grown to let your family know I made it back from my trip safely. Okay? You got to communicate. I, you ain't got to make a phone call. You can shoot a text, but you have to communicate and let people know where you're going and when you expect it to come back. Rule number five, you can drink, but make sure you know how to handle your alcohol. Okay? I see this far too often where people want to go and drink and have a good time and they go with the intentions of wanting to fall in the bushes. I actually seen people say, I want to go and I want to have such a good time 
to y'all picking me up out the bushes. And I really think it's a figure of speech. I don't really think women really have the uh, intention to want to go out and get just pissed and sloppy drunk like that. But if you do decide that you want to drink, baby, make sure you can handle your alcohol. If you know that when you're here in Louisiana, after your first drink, you good, then when you go out there, after your first drink, be good. If you know you only have a three drink minimum or if you're drinking something new that you don't know how your body going to react to it, pace yourself. Make sure you can handle your alcohol. Okay? Rule number six. Make sure you know your drinking source, meaning you know who you're getting it from. And make sure you keep your drink close to you. We didn't all heard about how people didn't got stuff slipped on them because they left their drink when they went to the bathroom. Or they this and that. And oh, I left it at the table with a group of people, but then they at the table and they drinking and they not paying attention. And now all of a sudden, something has been slipped in your drink. So if you walk away from the drink, that means you have to throw that drink away. It's no good anymore. Okay? Listen to what Auntie Sharonda telling you. I just went to a party this weekend, I went to a player's ball. And of course I had to get up and go to the restaurant. I mean, I had to go up and go to the, get up and go to the restroom. But in my mind, when I got in that bathroom, I say, shit, I left my drink on the table. And you know what I said? Well, it ain't no good no more. And in other words, I was at an event amongst family and friends. And I left that drink on the table. And guess what? When I went back to that table, I threw that drink away. It wasn't no good no more. If I wanted another one, I would go to the bar and get another one. I just didn't want another one because as I didn't got older, I don't drink as much as I used to. Ain't T. Body can't handle it like she used to be able to handle it when she was younger. Now I had acid reflux, heartburn, all kind of shit go on if I didn't uh, did too much. So I, uh, even me, I pace myself. So what I'm saying is if you walk away from that drink, it ain't no good no more. Throw that shit away. Lastly, keep a self-defense object with you. My children know. My children are notorious, baby. My kids got pepper spray. They got tasers. They have all of these different things. You got uh, keychain alarms. Uh, you got window busters that you can put on your keychain. This is just in case you need to evacuate a car. You can take and hit that window and it'll shatter the glass so you can get your ass up out of there. Um... Most of this stuff, you can find it on Amazon. But these are the type of things that you need to have on you when you're going and you're traveling and you have having a safe high girl summer. Like these things cannot go on the plane with you, but you can not put them on your, um, your not your carry-on luggage, your check luggage. You can put it in your check luggage, okay? So that is going to complete my video for today. I'm just trying to make sure we're done on the back. That's going to complete my video for today. You can have a high girl summer, but make sure you have a safe high girl summer. You all be blessed. You all enjoy your day. You all stay dry. It looked like the rain that we were supposed to be getting all weekend here in Louisiana. Look like we're getting it right now. Look like it's coming down at this moment right now. So you all be blessed. You all be safe. You all enjoy the rest of your day.